War rages on in space, as the CIS and Republic fight a ruthless battle. Eventually, a Republic resonant cruiser ends up damaged. Droids assemble their boarding parties and launch an assault on the ship. They are being led by the ruthless General Grievous, leader of the battle droid army. Can Gree and his 41st Elite Corps troopers manage to defend against General Grievous and his battle droid army ship boarding party? Or will they end up losing their ship and the battle as a whole? If you guys enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below because it is about to get absolutely crazy. Real quick, huge thank you to Instant Gaming for sponsoring this video. They have literally the best deals in gaming. I use it all the time. If you like Star Wars games, Lego Star Wars for $2. Star Wars Battlefront 2 for $9. One of my favorite Star Wars games, Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, a buck 70. If you wanna play the Star Wars Galaxy at War Mod, Men of War Assault Squad 2, $3. Extremely popular games can be up to 99% off. Link in the description below. Thank you to Instant Gaming for sponsoring the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Let's get into the video. Alrighty then, gamers. We have three different entrance points for the battle droids. The largest boarding party is at the front of the ship, being led by General Grievous here. Then we have a left flank assault from a smaller party of droids, as well as a right flank assault from even more droids. The clones have ambush tactics throughout the entirety of the ship, as well as some beautiful choke points that they're going to be holding. So without further ado, let's get into the battle. Alrighty then gamers, let's go ahead and press start right now and General Grievous and his droid army begin their march forward into the battleship area here. This is a small little choke point for the clone troopers at the very start of the battle here. We've got a number of 41st Elite Corps troopers firing at General Grievous as well as his droid army here, but Grievous is already slashing through a number of clone troopers back this way, getting early quick kills on them and really breaching the gap here so his droids can follow through afterwards. Although a number of droids are going down here we've also got grenades going off as well a few more clone troopers just past them hiding behind a few boxes right there they could potentially get some good kills here with a dc-19 and dc-15c absolutely fantastic weapons for this type of battle we've also got a small medical bay area over this way where we've got clone troopers firing across the way uh, towards the hallway area over here and getting a number of kills on droids as they try and move through here and it looks like they're trying to get Get into a small little command station area over this way where we do have a 41st elite core arc trooper right here uh, which is a part of a skin pack that i've never used before but he gets beat up and then shot up and dies and his friend there dies as well my goodness uh this map was a recreation of another light cruiser map for the Imperials, uh, and the recreation was made by DNADR, I believe. Uh, so huge shout out to them. He did a fantastic job recreating this for the Clone Wars. Okay, more 41st Elite Corps in here getting shot down by the droids as they breach through into the weapons locker here and just start absolutely toasting clone troopers. But we've got more dead droids over here, and then it looks like these droids have burst through and taken over the map room over here through the flank, uh, the canteen area over here actually this is the kitchen area these guys are lighting up these droids and taking out a large number of them early early on um, and so their assaults does seem to be going better than the front but at the same time the clones do have a very nice defensive area over here grenade takes out another 41st elite core area uh we've got the dining mess hall over here that is still very much alive clone troopers look like they have been lighting up the droids over this way as well just absolutely destroying battle droids over here at the very end of this battle, I might go ahead and just restart it so we can watch the different entrances fight as well, uh, just for a little bit of fun because this seems to have been a whole massacre. But of course, we did witness a bit of a massacre at the front, and now General Grievous and his battle droid army are pushing deeper into the ship and starting to take out further 41st Elite Corps troopers in this way. Uh, we've got a number of dead droids over here in this hallway, but grenades go off, blowing up that clone trooper very, very far. Uh, we've got a secondary medical bay area. I guess there's two med bays on this ship. Clones are getting injured all the time here. Uh, and so these troopers over here are trying to protect this med bay as well. Again, there's tons and tons of choke points here, but there's also tons and tons of droids to breach these choke points. All right. 
right, a number of clone troopers in the kitchen area have been downed early on. I kind of thought this would be a better defensive position than it's turned out to be, but we do still have an ARC trooper in here, a VATR trooper as well, and uh, some more troops back this way, and then of course the freezer area over here is still alive too. So the kitchen area could continue to survive, hopefully and they could get some more kills on these droids. Oh, goodness, okay. This area was surviving, but General Grievous flanks, and the droids just end up clapping that clone trooper anyway, so they're down for the count. Rip. Canteen, still not under attack, but the medbay area over here is fully getting assaulted now, uh, and these clones are going to have some work cut out for them. Droids just trying a full charge inward, but they are not managing to do that very well. We've got a number of droids in space here. Um, maybe we'll push them inside because they must be like getting out somehow of the ship but for now we'll let them vibe out in space uh while we still have droids sort of attacking from the interior so i guess that'll be like a slight reinforcement for the droids a little bit later on do still have an e-web turret over here there were only two e-web turrets on this battlefield in total uh so one of them did go down we saw on the other side of the map but this one is still firing away, which is very, very good. Packs a mean punch, uh, although it's missing a lot of its shots. It clearly has gotten a few kills at the very least. And this med bay area is slightly more protected because of it. We've got explosions going off in the kitchen area. General Grievous has gotten in. Hopefully, he's at least somewhat low health now as the clones are just destroying him with blaster fire but he's got droids coming in alongside him so he might be distracting these clone troopers while the droids pick up better positioning in the kitchen area and that's what they're doing they're trying to flank that droid almost got a shot off but the clones did manage to take him out before he could but more droids continue in afterwards these clone troopers are going to have a lot of trouble here the droids are just trying to breach past general grievous here and the clones have to distract general grievous with their blaster fire or else they get stabbed by him so it is no good they are still somehow surviving over here though which is great to see fantastico um oh there we go one clone does end up dying right there it looks like these clones are starting to fight a little bit over this way these droids uh still mulling about over here but never managed to fully breach this area anyway so they're still out here uh trying to fight these clones this arc trooper i'm sure has some good kills right yeah, he's got 31 kills. That's insane. His friend here has none. <laughs> this guy's got 12 behind the barricade. This ARC trooper has 9. This trooper has 7. The E-Web has 14. This trooper's got 14 as well. This guy's got 4. This guy in the med bay has 24. This trooper has 4. These are some insane numbers we're seeing here. This trooper right here has 2. This trooper's got 7. This ARC trooper's got 1. Uh, this trooper in the freezer has 1. And this other trooper in the freezer has none currently. Pretty insane numbers all around the battlefield at this moment in time. Let's go ahead into normal speed because I don't think we're going to have too much lag going forward as a number of the droids and clones have died at this point. As a midway through the battle check-in, let's see how many have died. Red are dead battle droids, yellow are dead clone troopers. Obviously, clones are doing a fantastic job here. Grenade goes out, that trooper manages to dodge it and get back into his position before he gets shot up by the droids big time right there now the droid tries to charge but that guy was watching for it these clone troopers in here firing into the kitchen area which it looks like general grievous has finally taken over and now they're just kind of executing the clone troopers within this position right here so the kitchen is done so i kind of thought these droids could fire through this but maybe that's a window oh it is a window okay i thought this was an open panel but looks like the droids aren't going to be able to fire into the canteen that way which would have been very advantageous. Um, these droids still fiddling around over here. It looks like they did kill the ARC Trooper and his friend over that way. Rip! My man, he had, what, 34 kills? Maybe even more before he died, which is absolutely insane. Grenades going out across the battlefield. That's going to be a... not a droid popper. They went for the thermal right there. And General Grievous breaches into the canteen and just starts blitzing clone troopers. We have not seen General Grievous this aggressive in a long time. This is like 2002 animated series General Grievous. This is not Clone Wars General Grievous. He does get knocked out with a grenade right there, but he gets back up and continues to deflect incoming laser fire, but he might have just died. No, he is still alive. He's got four kills. He's at about half health. 
Yeah, but he's unconscious. Now he's no longer unconscious. Droid's trying to run in as well. Uh, another grenade going out at General Grievous right here. This is probably the best opportunity the clones have to kill General Grievous at the moment as the droids don't have that many troopers coming in to support Grievous. And right now they're just able to free fire into him. Grenades are the easiest way to take out lightsaber troopers. That would be ideal here. But right now they're just blasting him and Grievous has to kind of stand there and take it and deflect. But grenades, grano uh, grenades go off anyway and take out more clone troopers. Wow! Just absolutely insane. The medbay area did eventually get taken, which is going to lead the droids to attack this hallway a bit more. They take out those troopers there. We've got an escape pod area over here that the clones are guarding right now. Uh, they've still got a number of troopers in here taking out battle droids. This hallway, though, could lead... Oh, there is still a trooper left alive right there. This hallway could lead to a huge canteen assault, which is probably the best defended position on the battlefield. But General Grievous has made quick work of a number of 41st Elite Corps clone troopers over this way and taken them out. I absolutely adore the 41st Elite Corps clone trooper armor in Phase 1. Phase 2 scout troopers for them on Kashyyyk are incredible as well. But, like, this deep green is incredible. I don't like that their regular uniforms in Phase 2 turn into gray. It's a bit more boring. I mean, they still look good. Gray still works for Clone Trooper armor really, really nicely. But, yeah, it's a shame they got rid of the deep green. Oh, another grenade going off there. There's a lot of droids in the kitchen currently trying to cook up some plots. Oh, massive charge into the canteen right now. And the Clone Troopers managed to take it out pretty decently. The droids do get a couple kills right there. Looks like they're trying to save Grievous in the corner. <laughs> That's their main strategy right now, is just beeline it to Grievous and try and help him out. Look how detailed this map is, by the way. He even lined the tables with a ton of food. I mean, this is really, really impressive, uh, this map. The detailing on it is phenomenal. I hope he does make some more Star Wars maps in the future. All right, medbay droids pushing through here towards the escape pods, it looks like. And they're just funneling in. They end up executing that clone sergeant right there. A few grenades go off, exploding a few more droids, but they've almost captured this escape pod. Uh, Arc Trooper still alive right there, and then we do have a little escape pod command zone over here with three more troopers. DC-19 rattling off as droids try to attack the canteen area. Oh! Arc Trooper ends up going down. Escape pods have been captured. However, the control panel for them is not yet. Wow, what a battle so far. I mean, you gotta admit, this is pretty incredible. Grenade going off at General Grievous. He gets knocked out again. Eventually, they gotta kill him. Now, Commander Gree is still alive back here. The engine room is where he is stationed right now uh, with the rest of his troopers uh, and... There's not a ton of them here, but there's definitely enough to put up a little bit of a fight eventually uh, once the canteen area does end up going down, which I think it eventually will. There's not a ton of clone troopers right there anymore, um, but the clone troopers that are there are putting up a really, really nice fight. Okay, the droids that were out in space, well, there's still a few more over here, but I think some of them managed to find their way back into the ship, so I guess I won't fiddle with them just yet. We'll let the clone troopers continue to fight the droids that are still in the ship. General Grievous runs out to take a breather. He was at half health earlier. He's at now a quarter of health. Uh, does he have a heal property? Yeah, he does heal slowly. Uh, 69 health per uh, minute, it looks like, and he currently has 1,200 health. So he will slowly regain his health. He decided to take a breather and get out of the canteen area uh, before he truly bit the dust. We got more firing out this way. From these clones, maybe? I don't know where that's coming from. There's droids in this... Uh, I don't even know what that is. Maybe that is the engines right there. Oh, General Grievous is back in the canteen now. Interesting strategy. We'll see if it pays off. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, this clone trooper over here is still firing. I see. This guy's still alive and kicking. Uh, he currently has... Oops, I misplaced him. Get him back there. There you go. He's got five kills. This clone trooper here has one. It looks like his friend did die. This guy's got four. Uh, this clone trooper here has 15. This arc trooper has two. This guy's got 14. And this guy's got 18. All right. These guys are still popping off on these droid bodies right now. Dropping them to the ground. General Grievous back in his hiding position over that way. More droids running in, getting butchered by incoming clone trooper fire. The clones are doing such a nice job in this defense here. This is one of the best shipboarding battles I think we've done in a really long time. This one is exhilarating. Uh, and the droids, I mean, they're losing troops regularly, but they've still got hundreds out here in here. 
uh, out this way a little bit. They've got a lot of soldiers still alive on the battlefield that can potentially uh, take out these canteen clone troopers. So it is still very much in the droids court if they're going to win this thing or not. But right now, it looks like they might not. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of a time lapse here of these clones defending their dinner table, making sure that they get to eat their burgers and fries or whatever that blue and pink yam thing is. But they want to keep it. Their blue milk, they want to drink that. Defend the table with your lives, boys. Let's time lapse it for a little bit. Okay, that was a 20 second time lapse and the clones almost immediately got grenaded by the droids, which is crazy. And then the droids killed these clones here. Wow, the daily curse lives on apparently because those guys got wiped out the second we started watching them closely. Uh, that's sad. This clone trooper here, oh, gets sniped out. We've got another decent barricade here, though. This guy could seriously get some kills. What's he got? He's got a T-21. Those are pretty powerful. He's got backup back here, too, so he could get some kills, but, oh, he does not get some kills. Yikes. All right, this guy's, uh, rattling off some shots, though. That's definitely good to see. We need, we need something big happening here. There we go. Oh! Come on, fellas. Come on. We we need some big kills for you. We need to see some big, big kills. Why do the ARC Troopers all have their pistols out? Get rid of those pistols. Get rid of pistol. Get rid of pistol. Take out your weapons. There you go. Oh, Gree has his pistol out, too. I don't know why that's a glitch. It's so dumb. Get rid of your pistol. And get rid of your pistol. There you go. The other ARC Troopers were using their regular weapons, though, so I'm not entirely sure why that happens all the time. See, that guy's got his weapon out, so I'm not entirely sure. Um, all right, droids pushing the uh, engine room area here, but clones managed some good kills there, wiping out a few more. Commander Grease station back here is very well guarded as well, so they could potentially get a lot of kills here. Uh, this guy's also got his pistol out. Get rid of that right now, son. Thank you. Okay. We don't be using pistols here. No, sir. All right, there's Grievous right there. Still managing good droid kills. That's what we want to see. There's a whole squad ready to breach here. All right, they begin their assault a little bit. Ooh. Clone Trooper gets downed. Arc Trooper right here. He manages two kills. I think he's going to go down, though. Three. Not bad. Not bad. Nice! Four! Keep it up, man! Keep it up! We need these kills. We need these kills. We need, like, a big grenade, honestly. We need a very large grenade, but I'll take an ARC Trooper slaying some droids for sure. Oh my god, more droids coming in. Oh, nice! Nice! Alright, that clone trooper's popping off. No! Oh! Whew. He is popping off. He is 100% popping off. Let's go. Let's go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Still a few more droids in this room here. Honestly, if he grenaded, it would be absolutely gigantic, but I don't think he's going to. I I think he'd probably be a little bit too nervous too. Oh, I can't believe he survived that. I can't believe he survived that. Oh my god, get this man a medal. What are we naming this soldier? Comment down below, what are we naming this soldier? I'm thinking Flicker, because he's flicking these guys with crazy shots. Rico's Brigade Season 6, Flicker appearance, maybe? I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below, Flicker, maybe? Enemy Yikes, he has gotten a crazy number of kills. How many kills does he have? Nothing he's got 14. Absolutely insane. Let's go. All right, droids pushing this way, ignoring Flicker for now. Help your boy out, help your boy out. Yes, okay, that droid almost got a grenade off. That's good. Oh, Flicker gets another kill. Grenade, grenade. Come on, clones. Please do some grenading. Please do some grenading. That's all we need. Just a couple grenades. If you just grenade a little bit, we just might win. I'd do like a little sing song for him, you know? Inspire the troops with my beautiful melodies. Okay. Beautiful Flicker. I'm naming him Flicker, but um, I'll let you guys comment. I'll let you guys comment. His name doesn't have to be Flicker, but I kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. He's reloading. Right now, my head cannon is that his name is Flicker, but we can change it. If someone comments is just like the most baller name ever, we can change it. Oh my god, he's insane. He's insane. 
He's insane. He is insane. Yes, sir. Okay, this clone goes down over here. These clones still holding that angle, though. Nice. We need multitudes of kills. They've got the evil medical droid with them in there, though. That's a little bit scary. Nice. Phew. Okay, boys. <laughs> Keep her going, baby. Keep her going. This is what we need to see in order to get the big fat W on the board. <sighs> All right. Real quick, let's see. Yellow are dead clones, red are dead droids. Droids still way more deaths than clone troopers. Flicker continues to pop off. Nice. Three more kills for him. He's at 25. 25 kills for the mad lad himself. Holy smokes. This is genuinely one of the best battles I think we've had on the channel in a long time. I mean, we've had some bangers recently. I, I have done some very enjoyable battles in my eyes recently. I mean, the the uh, the Bounty Hunter Bridge defense I thought was really, really fun. Um, you know, we did some epic invasions of Hoth that I thought were really, really fun. We've done some crazy stuff, but this has been such a really fun, balanced battle. Clone Troopers outnumbered, and yet they managed to do huge damage to the droids and potentially get a W. I'm not going to jinx it, but we could see it. Flicker, flicker. Oh. Oh my god, he just clutched it. He just absolutely clutched it. Oh my god. This might take the cake for battle of the year so far. I don't know. Cast your vote in the comment section below. Is this battle of the year so far? I don't know. I don't know. But clone troopers holding out like crazy. Oh no, grenade. Oh, this could be it for Flicker. Is that a clone grenade or a droid grenade? If it was a droid grenade, these guys will get back up, but I think it might have been a clone trooper grenade. Because they're not getting back up. That's insane. Grievous moves for the first time in a minute. I wonder who threw that grenade. It was definitely a clone grenade. I don't know who threw it, though. This guy's got two kills. This guy's got two. This guy's got none. Flicker now has 32. Oh, no! No, he's getting beat down! No! Fight back! No! Oh! He goes down at the last possible moment right there. And now we got to see if Grease defense is going to be up for the task of defending against General Grievous and his last remaining droids. We got a shotgun trooper in the front there. Oh, Rip Flicker or whatever his name you guys think it should be, but I like Flicker right now. More droids dropping, which is good. General Grievous, or sorry, General Gree. It's Gree versus Grievous. Very confusing. Um, he... Doesn't have battle-tested men in the back here yet, but it seems like they're getting tested now and they're doing decent in this crossing. That trooper tucks away the grenade right there. I like I like the gusto with it. Shotgun pumping out shots. But Grievous is going to make a big charge here, I think, and that could be the end. Okay, he backs off. As long as Grievous stays away, we could be okay. We got a grenade going out. Duck, duck, no! Okay, that trooper ends up getting grenaded and dies. But they're still holding the corner here really, really nicely. Grievous is running out of soldiers. Watch for friendlies. You guys could kill that guy so easily. Why why don't you just shoot him, please? Excuse me, sir. Just pop a cap in his droid brain. No, he's not going to do that. Okay, fine. Whew, two rooms left for the clones, baby. Oh, snap. I love this shotgunner. This shotgunner's sick. Eight kills already. Uh, Grease got four, this trooper's got none, this trooper's got three, this trooper's got none, and this trooper's got seven. Alright. Grease men are, I guess, a little bit battle-tested. More so than I initially thought. They're doing okay. And this, yeah, this is literally it. Two rooms left for the clones. We got a two-room game here. Another push from the droids. Results in big deaths! Shotgun Trooper popping off like crazy around that corner. That's the utilization of a shotgun that we need to be seeing in this battle. That goes absolutely hard as heck, boys. That is insane. My goodness. Okay. Oh, this battle is so unbelievably hype. More droids starting to trickle in. Are they going to do a big push here? Oh, that droid actually kind of blitzed in. 
dodge some bullets. Old blaster fire. But he does end up dying. The rest of these guys dying as well. Shotgun trooper right to the nards of that droid right there. Uh oh, this guy's got a grenade out. Oh, he puts it away. Okay. Whew. Grenades could be devastating to Grease troops here, I will say. And this guy's going in. Blasted. All right. Things are a little bit slow again. Why don't we time lapse? All right, boys. I think General Grievous burst in. Yes, sir, he did. And so now Grease men are a little bit distracted here. Could be dangerous. He's hiding in a shipping container. If these guys are distracted and the droids end up sweeping around the back, it could be fairly devastating for Gree's last stand here. They're still killing droids like crazy. These three still alive over here. I mean, the clones are doing wonderful things. Oh, no! Shotgun Trooper dies. Gree's distraction is working. Because they have lost a trooper! That was a clone grenade! So they're just knocked out. They'll get back up, but that's a big folly right there. If the droids had pushed right then, it would have been Jover. Grievous just chilling in that way. Again, the distraction, really not good for these clone troopers. Whew, another droid's gonna make a push here. Grievous might be the it factor that the droids need. Okay, Grievous is making moves again. Clones have still yet to manage to actually kill him. Grenades going off! No, you just grenaded Gree. He is dead. Oh my god. Fellas. Two clones remain here. They're gonna grenade. Target identified. There you go. Contact. <sighs> uh, that's rough. Three clones remain in this way. Two remain over here. But the onslaught has been rough. Ooh. A little bit of fighting out here. Get another kill. No! Oh, the droid grenades are so close. So close to doing these guys in. Oh. He dodges and then claps behind. The clone trooper action here has been incredible. These are two arc troopers remaining, which is, I guess, better than a regular soldier. At least. But beyond that, I can't say much. Much good about the Clone Trooper defense. They have been walloped and destroyed half this battle. There's really not a lot of droids left, though. Very, very few across this battlefield. Clones are clones are very close to their victory. But General Grievous is right there, still chilling. Oh, God, no. This guy's healing. You gotta protect your boy. Oh, the grenade! No! Roger, roger. Oh, my God. Oh, it started pouring outside too right as that clone trooper died we got like crazy rain rip we've still got three clones over here though scratch that we've still got two clones over here though i mean at least these guys are still alive let's time lapse their survival all right guys so the droids just aren't attacking over here. So let's send a droid. And hopefully that kickstarts things. You guys want to shoot him? There you go. Yeah, that's going to kickstart things. Maybe. Oh! Hello. No! Oh, okay! Well, oh, what the heck? No! <laughs> How did that droid phase in there? Oh my goodness. Okay. Clone troopers do take an L here, but look at this. Yellow are dead droids, red are dead clone troopers. They came so close to victory here. I know the clones are on a hot losing streak on the channel right now and people are complaining about it, but every battle they have lost has been so close to them scoring a victory. Look at, like, like seriously, this was within 20 droids dying and the clone troopers winning. The, like, I'm sorry, but my videos have been insanely fair recently. Like, you can't deny, my videos, 
Lately, the balancing of both teams has been insanely good. I've been trying so hard, and I think this is no exception, because we have come so close here. Either way, let's go ahead and restart the battle like I said I would. Uh, that's that's the victory, but I just want to see the other doorways breached, because we kind of missed that in the first part of this. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, pressing start. And let's see this breach zone over here. The clones do have barricades set up uh, with some clone troopers. Obviously, those guys going down very, very early over here because there's just so many droids. Um, that's actually a doorway that still opens, apparently, on the ground there. That's kind of funny. Um, droids are taking some pretty extreme losses, though, as they try and breach through here. Just getting shot up by clone troopers. Look at this. They're charging over this way, and it looks like the E-Web actually turns around over here uh, to light up a lot of these battle droids. So, yeah, these clone troopers are doing a fantastic job, and this is why the droids took so many losses over here uh, the first time around, and it's happening again this time around. Same thing over here, where the droids are trying to breach this map room, and these clone troopers are just straight up holding this area. I'm honestly, I'm going to let this battle play out in its entirety again this time around. Grenade going out, just to show you guys how balanced this b map is. Um, it's the exact same battle as last time, but I want to see if things change or differ from the last time we ran it, and, uh, you know if we maybe get a clone trooper victory this time or something along those lines um because obviously things change in every single battle no two men of war battles are ever the exact same so it's what makes it kind of a fun game dude like for example these clone troopers die very early on this time meanwhile last time around oh and these guys too last time around those guys got a crazy number of kills all right what's happening at the front line over here Med bay gets destroyed. Yeah, these droids come through. So if anything, I actually think the droids are doing a little bit better than last time around. But you never know. That can always change. That can always, always change. So let's go ahead and do an overhead time lapse here of the battlefield. Um, and this kind of encapsulates a lot of the different hallways and will encapsulate... Actually, this is better, because then we get to see the canteen fight when it happens. So, yeah, this is just a for-fun battle, but the first battle still remains. This is just to see how well-balanced it was. All right, well, the droids do end up uh, taking out the clone troopers in the canteen here. I was going to show you the highlights. So, yellow are dead droids, red are dead clone troopers here. Ugh, crazy numbers all around yet again. Except this time, uh, it seems as though the escape pod area did hold out for a lot longer. Now it's going to be up to uh, Gree's defense here yet again to potentially get the victory um, Grievous, uh, oh, Grievous is still alive. I thought Grievous died this time. It might be another droid victory here. It might be another droid W, although Grievous has no kills this time, so a bit of a different effect. Uh, droids are going to come through, and, uh, we're going to just high speed this sucker, and, uh, Gree starts killing. Let's see if Flicker gets some kills again here. Yeah, I mean, the clones are going down. It's kind of... Kind of the same deal as last time. Maybe a little bit less close. Yeah, Flicker goes down almost immediately this time. And Grenade's going out. So actually, the clones did way worse this time. They did way better last time. Okay. Well, let's just high speed this thing and call it a day. But I still think this was way more balanced. It does show that, yeah, the battle changes quite a bit from time to time because... Last time around, clones did uh, significantly better. Look at that. These guys get absolutely destroyed almost immediately. And these guys in here go down as well. Yeah, droids did way, 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 way better this time than last time. Kind of crazy. Either way, guys, that's going to be about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.